So, I'm sure you guys have heard about Unity's new fiasco, and as the guy who documented his entire journey migrating from Unity to Unreal three months ago, there were a handful of you who asked me what my take on the whole thing was, and how glad I was to have made the move early. And, simply put, I'm not really happy to see one of my favorite softwares go to shit. Like, yeah, we moved, but I still had a lot of fond memories of Unity, and I always recommended it to people who wanted to make mobile games. But, I figured I'd just put my two cents here, and put it out for the record. For those of you who don't know, basically, from what I can tell, Unity decided that after you make a certain amount of money per year, Unity will start to charge you 20 cents per install of your game. And this is for all users across all games, even old ones from a long time ago. So for example, I've made quite a few free to play games throughout my years in Unity that literally make no money at all because that's the life of most indie game developers. But starting next year, if I made more money than that threshold, I would have to pay 20 cents for every time somebody installed my game that I released seven years ago. Let's not forget that when you release a new game on Steam, now every time you give away a free Steam key, you're basically paying someone 20 cents to give them that key. And I get that it only affects game designers that are doing really well, but I still think it's bullshit that this new system affects old games that were released before the contract changed. Now, I'm sure the details will change or shift around because I don't really see the Unity fan base really taking this bullet without a fight, but regardless of how they try to mitigate how bad the deal really is, maybe they'll lower it to 10 cents or 5 cents per install. I don't really think it matters because from what I've heard, the CEO of Unity suspiciously sold a bunch of their shares before the news went public, and apparently the vast majority of upper management in Unity has also been offing their shares during this whole debacle. And really all I can say is when the leaders of a company don't have confidence in the value of their own shares in that company, I mean that tells me the company's basically done. I mean in any organization if the leader doesn't have confidence in the direction they're going then it's over because the leader is no longer invested in its future and if you're not invested you really don't care and I think that it's just going to be a bad bet if you're a new developer hoping that it's going to magically make a 180 turn and get better all of a sudden. Now there was always a little part of me that thought you know if things don't work out in Unreal maybe we can always go back to Unity. But with how things are looking right now, I really feel like this was the final nail in the coffin. Not only because I think changing the contract on your users like this for games released seven years ago is bullshit, but also because after migrating to Unreal, I really just believe that Unreal just gives you a lot more mileage for the same amount of effort that you put into it. Especially when it comes to generating beautiful photorealistic graphics. Financially, technically, and artistically, a better choice now. And I'm sadly glad to have made the move to Unreal before it was cool because there are no doubt thousands of ex unity developers moving to unreal now that are going to be going through the exact same process that we went through three months ago they're gonna have to figure out how to translate all the gaming fundamentals that they know in unity to unreal but this time they don't have to waste their time like i did now instead of being lost in an information cloud like we were they can just binge watch our crash course playlist for how we went from unity to unreal in this organized tutorial series that we made for everyone right here Everything from getting used to the controls, the hotkeys, layout, importing, exporting, objects, animations, textures, materials, jiggle physics, environments, foliage, marketplace, destructible fractures, UI, special effects, particles, Niagara, and blueprints that we're currently working on right now, it's all there organized. Nice and neat for any Unity dev that wants to follow in our footsteps. It's completely and totally free and each tutorial is only about one to two minutes long. And the best part is, it's made from the perspective of a Unity dev. From someone coming from your background in C Sharp game development, it's basically made for people who have a grasp of the fundamentals of game design already, but just don't know how to translate it into the Unreal Engine. So if this is you, and you like short and concise tutorial videos, and you're a Unity dev, you could could probably binge watch the entire series today and have almost all of your questions answered and begin working in Unreal tomorrow. And I recommend you make the change now while the tutorials are fresh because once Unreal 6 comes out, a lot of the information is going to change and the path won't be as clear as it is now. To everyone else watching who's a normal fan of the show, I know I don't ask for this often, but if you know a Unity developer who's considering switching to Unreal Engine, please share this video that I just posted. There will never be a better time to switch than now, and you'll be able to avoid thousands of wasted hours fumbling around looking for information. The link to the entire playlist can be found in the description and in the top pinned comment. But yeah, it's a sad day. 
I don't really have much else to say other than I'm glad we moved out before shit went downhill. But if you're a new dev feeling lost, try and think of this as an opportunity to just learn a better engine with an incredible community and upper management who actually believe in what they're building. You're not alone, so just relax. We'll help each other out. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around. <laughs>